Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Jason hosts all about Android. In fact, I have an Android phone I want to show you in just a little bit. But Excellent. let's take a look first at this Seagate device. What kind is this? Kind of coming out uh, from reviewing only Android devices on this show. Um, now I'm reviewing something that works with an Android device. It also works with iOS, actually. It's a Seagate Wireless Plus. And this is uh, it's a, basically it's a wireless hard drive. This is a one terabyte hard drive. And you can load an app on your tablet or your device. This is the Seagate um, media app that I have loaded on this Nexus 7. And essentially what it allows you to do is this device, the, uh, the Wireless Plus, broadcasts over Wi-Fi, uh, 802.11n. It can broadcast up to eight mobile devices. Though, if you're streaming media to the devices, they recommend you know no more than three at a time. And I actually kind of noticed a little bit of hiccups with streaming it to two at a time. So keep that in mind. Uh, probably also depends on how high resolution, high definition uh, the video clips are. Uh, you can plug it into your computer via USB 3, and it becomes a portable hard drive. So it's really kind of flexible in that regard, right? Like it has a very interesting use case for streaming media to your tablet or your, your mobile device, but you can also just kind of use it as a portable uh, hard drive that you can take with you. Um, it obviously it has you know some compatibility issues with video formats. It doesn't support every single format under the moon, and of course right now it's lagging for me right now. But uh, this is we should video. point out this Wi-Fi environment here is so harsh. It really is. Yeah. I had way more success at home than oh, I do yeah. here, and I feel like I'm constantly battling it here. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm doing through the tablet actually is I'm connecting directly to the Seagate. Here, so, so that's one negative on all of these, and there are other companies that make these. Is to use this wirelessly, you have to attach to it. You can't then surf the internet. You only are accessing the hard drive. Although, right? if I were at home, I could show you one of the other awesome features of this, which is that it ha allows for internet sharing. So ah. you can connect to uh, the internet through the Seagate Wireless Plus. Okay, and then it will pass through that that internet connection. Oh, that's nice. To the device, so you don't I could not get that internet. to work here. No uh, matter how hard yeah, I tried, I could not get yeah. that to work here. That's just because we have uh, such so many Wi-Fi signals and such powerful Wi-Fi signals. So. Yeah, no, it's it's Can't definitely it. battling, which is obviously going to make it kind of hard to show. And off uh, it's not the Seagate's uh, fault. I should point out we have trouble with many devices, including laptops. Here, it's it's not unusual to have mm -hmm. Wi-Fi issues. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, no. Doing this. What from files home, it can was, it, it was, play, and what files cannot it can? Okay, it not so H two six four video, MPEG four video, motion JPEG for video, audio AAC, MP three, audible formats two, three, and four, Apple lossless, AF, Wave. So it can do a decent amount, um, but but like not MKV, not yeah. DivX. But. One, one cool thing here is, so I downloaded Night of the Living Dead, right? It's on uh, the Internet Archive, and this is a DivX version. If it can't play it, and it detects, at least on Android, if it detects that there's a player that can play it, and in this oh. case I have MX Player Pro, I So that has that, DivX, but in, and it will just launch it. And it will just pass it right oh. through. So it's streaming it's not... it from, from the drive into MX Player, and there you go. There's, <gasps> Look at that. There's That's DivX. on the Internet Archive? Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, it's on Internet Archive. So I'm going to, this is good because this is a second generation yes. wireless hard drive and they have really solved a lot of the issues. They have and everything that I've read about the first one, um, it really seems like they addressed this. They actually just released a new version of the app um, for all the, the platforms that supported Android, iOS, Kindle Fire, Windows, Windows RT. There's no Windows Phone support. So keep that in mind right now. Maybe eventually that will uh, be kind of brought into the fold. But I mention that because when I started this review, one of my big downsides was that the app was just kind of a pain in the butt to use. And this new version this looks completely pretty elegant. overhauled yeah. it. So it's a lot easier to use. It makes a lot more sense. It got really confusing connecting to the wireless and then losing connection. And what am I looking at? It was a Where's pain. I know. Yeah. So um, thankfully, the changes that they've made really did improve things. Did you say it does audible formats? So if you uh, yes, listen to audiobooks on Audible, it'll two, play them three, back. and four. That's it. That's handy <laughs> for me. That, but there you go. That's handy for me. <laughs> you know me. I'm an Audible fan. Yeah. Um, and I did uh, try it. You know, I don't spend a whole lot of time on iOS devices, but I did borrow Jammerby's iPad and and streamed some video to it and it seemed to work okay. Great. Um how like much said, is this? So this this is the one terabyte version. It's one hundred and eighty dollars. Wow, the prices have really tumbled. Um so it's a bit twice as much as a bare bones drive would mm -hmm. be you're paying for this additional wireless access. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh two two terabyte drive is two hundred dollars. They also have a five hundred gigabyte version for one fifty. 
So, you know, you get Sounds into like that. you'd be best buying the two terabyte. Yeah, exactly. I mean, wow. Because the prices are more. so close together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I got to say the battery, man, I've been really impressed by the battery. I've been constantly streaming things. The, the downside is you don't really know when it's getting super low on battery. It it's just kinda dies. It's kind of hard to tell. Lucy but. and Savannah are sitting in the back seat <laughs> yeah, right. right in the middle of Finding Nemo. Honestly, like if, if everybody in our car had a wireless device and they always all wanted to watch something different, uh, you know, three people streaming from it, technically it could do it. This, yeah. could, this could serve all three of those uh, those devices. So. The name again? The Seagate Wireless Plus. You want to run through the pros and cons? Yeah, absolutely. Quick? Super light and portable. I mean, it's really yeah. just a very portable drive. It's like uh, a flask. Drive. Yeah, kind of <laughs> does. Maybe that's uh, for version three. Uh, very flexible. I think the fact that it's media streaming as well as just a basic, you know, port, uh, USB 3 portable hard drive. I think that's pretty cool. Internet sharing obviously is great and the battery, battery performance was awesome. Wi Fi speed 802.11n means you're going to get a few hiccups. It has kind of, you know, at a certain Certain point, uh, it's it, it kind of stop and go, um, and it's 2.4 gigahertz, probably not five. It's right, no, it's 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Another, that's why you have problems here. If it did five, you wouldn't have any problems right, here. Right, right. Yeah. And limited file type support, as I as I said, it doesn't support every single format under the sun. It's not transcoding your video if it doesn't support it. In other words, so and you were able to go right. 10 hours with it. You think? Oh, uh, I would. I would guess. I mean, you know, it was kind of broken up in, in many right. different places, but I hardly ever had to plug the sucker in. And I've been yeah. just kind of testing it by replaying Sounds video over and over and over again. And it was taking a long time. So that's what I, I think that that's what they're saying is around 10 to 11 hours of solid. So, you know, every single product we've talked about today has been a buyer. You I gonna, know. What do you, you, what do you keep, got there? Well, I'm not going to say, but are, are you going to keep the string going? Uh, I will, yes. I would say buy it. I mean, okay. I don't know. I, I don't have a whole lot of experience with others in, in this space as far as this particular right. type of device, but I think if this is what you're looking for, it'd be hard, you'd be hard-pressed to find something uh, that works as well as this. Jason Howell, host of All About Android. You were just on a British podcast. Uh, I did the Pocket Show on the British Tech Network. Is that up now or uh, will be up soon? It is. It published earlier this morning. Oh, yeah. good. So it's I'll up. Uh, just it. do a search for the Pocket Show, British Tech Network. You'll find it. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. Thank and you. Of course, TNT Monday through Friday.